coming today? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. He didn't text me last night. He wasn't posting Star Wars or tribute, tribute videos this morning, so that leads me to believe he slept in. Okay. Hopefully he comes in and we can get some of him on camera in the, in the basketball courts over there. For those who wonder, JT does do conventional lifting, as I have said. I don't know how to lift. <laughs> I'm a ter terrible lifter. Uh, well, I've spotted you bench 315, so I don't know if I'd say all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I had my, my back completely off the bench that day. Right? Um, a little bit. Yeah, a little arch going on. <laughs> a little, a arch, little arch. A little arch going on. There's Chuck scribbling away. Chuck, I have a new nickname for you. Oh, shit. From now on, you're known as Scribbles. Scribbles? Because you're always scribbling in that book. Chuck, a.k.a. Scribbles. Scribbles. Sounds like a bad you should name. You should sell this thing on eBay. No. We can do a package deal. The binder that, only go for three dollars. We can package deal that with the red thong. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to be associated with that. Thing. <laughs> oh, you're associated with it. <laughs> All of us, unfortunately. <laughs> JT, I just want to make you aware of one thing. I don't know how much you follow the comments on the videos or these different bodybuilding message boards. Mm -hmm. If anyone refers to you as Coast. J T C O A T H. It's not a typo. Okay. So, it's not like all of Jason's fans have, you know, a problem spelling the word coach. So what does it mean? Coach. C O A T H. Jason, anytime he spells out the word coach for whatever reason, he replaces the last C with a T. That's how he spells coach. Coach. So, it's kind of as an honorary way to pay tribute to Jason. People refer to his coaches as coach. Just, okay. just in case you see it. Understood. A little nugget of information for you this morning. Alright, uh, cool. <laughs> uh, just thought it was a typo. No. If you saw it once, it's a typo. When after the hundredth time, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, something's going on here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Alright. Thank you. Anytime. I'll be sure to fill you in on all these Genova isms as we go. Now everybody, well, anybody who's been watching these videos for a while, I think we'll all agree that Chuck has made some really good gains since he started appearing in these videos months ago. And it's funny, I, I now read comments implicating Chuck for Skittles usage and all that. I wish I was. And yeah, I wish I was too, buddy. Um, someone, I don't remember who it was, kind of went off on you, Chuck, when I filmed you max out incline presses at 125 for one rep and he said that you should be doing high volume training not this one rep max out crap and what we were just talking about was you know everyone on that watches the videos they always see just like highlights they won't see me do 100 pounds for 16 reps or 85 for 20 plus reps eventually we all want to see what our max is but I'd honestly say most of the reps I do are between 8 and 30 reps. I actually very rarely see you do a set line? of 2 or 3 reps. Yeah, most, no. I just don't happen to film your high rep sets. Yep. That's the only difference. It's like so, the hammer strength bench right there. I'm doing probably 50 pounds right now on each side, but I'm doing like 20 Yeah, reps. I've been watching you do that since I got here this morning, and you're doing nothing but high reps. So Chuck is doing high rep training, everyone. I bounce around. We all bounce around. Go heavy, go light. Like I said, for me, whatever I feel like doing that day. Better than sitting there. What you doing here, JT? Uh, gravity sit-ups. Actually uh, good for um, hyper-extending your back. And uh, great for lower abs and middle section of your abs. Not so much upper. If I can get a couple, I'll be good today. I'm gonna get Jason to do these too. Or we should hook Jason up to this apparatus and just leave him hanging upside we, down. We can do that.
you have any back problems, this decompresses your, your spine to hang there for a minute a day. Any of your back problems should diminish. You ever use an inversion table? Yeah, this That's is a little harder than inversion. Inversion is great for you. Interesting tidbit of information here, guys. Sean, who appears in these videos, everyone knows Sean with the visor. Sean broke his neck in a motorcycle accident many years ago. And one of the things he did, you know, obviously after a few major surgeries, he used an inversion table for therapy and it really helped him out. Maybe I'll get Sean to talk about it next time I see him here on camera. Anything upside down decompresses your spine. That's good. Yeah, he needs to get into the ring, but I don't want to. I don't want to like uh, overpower him right now. I want him to ease into it. He goes into a boxing gym. He might get a little nervous. You know. Why don't you bring Brad to the beach with you, and Jason can use him as his punching bag. Yeah. We can we'll, say yeah, we'll do that. We can use Brad as the uh, the heavy bag. Yeah. Uh, I guarantee you Jason will fucking box real well if you do that. You think so? Oh, absolutely. Just handcuff Brad. All right, Jason, here's your heavy bag. <laughs> Jason will become a Michael Spinks in a day. <laughs> I guarantee it. What's up, man? What's going on? Chilling. He can, he can do all that shit. He can have it. I don't go to the fucking beach. We live by the... When's the last time you went to the... I can't even tell you. Everybody when I, comes down here to go to the beach, we live here and never... When I moved down here in 1998, I said to myself, I'm going to be at the beach every day after work, I'm going to go relax and have a few beers. No. When you live down here... How often do you go, Chuck? And he's from Chicago. Three times a year? Chicago. How many? Three times a year. That's why we're all white as uh, Cas Casper the Ghost. So when you work in the heat all day, the last thing you want to do is walk the sun. Well, that's right. When you move down here, you realize life is not a perennial vacation. We all work and earn livings Plus, and have it, shit to do. It's all the it's all the tourists and shit down there. Well, that too. To Bradley and uh, rob, they fucking robbed Pacquiao the first time. Yeah. We're going to make one money, you know? Yeah. Don't show Jason that one, he'll get excited. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a minute to get that. <laughs> That's a tough fucking exercise. Yeah, I know. I see a lot of wrestlers do that. Yeah. One sec. I'll tell you in a sec. Now, for all the Brad haters out there, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I, got, I got haters. Oh, absolutely, you've got haters. Good. What are they? What's it's that like, saying? Say, that, that saying. What do they say if you don't haters, have haters? Make you greater. Is that it? Yeah. I thought it was haters beware. Oh, uh, that's, that's Jason's. Uh, uh, that's so, what, were your ears just ringing? Were your ears ringing? Because we were just talking about you. We were. Yeah, we were just. We were. Do you think I would talk badly of you? I know, I Do you know. really have to ask no, that? I got you. Know who I haven't seen? Who? Lily. Will? Yeah. Screwface? Will. Yeah, I call him Screwface. Oh. Well, you ever I see the movie Mark for Death with Steven Seagal? What? Where Steven Seagal just annihilates the whole Jamaican drug posse? Oh, yeah. Well, Will reminds me of one of the guys from the movie Mark for oh, Death. Oh, yeah. So I. Something Call him Screwface. Marked for death. Marked for death. Oh, Marked yeah, for yeah, death. Yeah. 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 That's a great, great movie. Yeah. So Will reminds me of one of the uh, drug kingpins. <laughs> Will, yes, I have seen Will. Will took about three weeks off, and he started coming back last week. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's Good. back. Oh. Right. How's everything with you? Okay. Good. Well, I'm off today. Guess what? I'm not. Yeah. I'm working a 12-hour day today. It's gonna be great. Oh. Passover, man. <laughs> At the country club, Passover, forget it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yep. Oh god, or oy vey, I should say. Oy vey, it's gonna be an oy vey day. They're booked up, huh? Booked solid. Doing about a thousand covers tonight. Really? Yeah, very busy. Normally I don't work at night, but they asked me to help out in uh, front of the house, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh wow. Gotta do it. Right. You hear anything about Richie? Yeah, Richard had a couple of procedures on his face. One on yeah. his forehead, one on his eye. Yeah. Plus he's resting up his shoulder. Right. And he told me he will be back here when he fully recovers. Good. Until then, I hope he does, uh, hope he gets better. You almost done or? Uh... I got about another 20 minutes left in here. Okay. Taking my time today. All right. All right. I'll see you in the weight room, boss. I'll see yeah. you in the weight room. Yeah, yeah, I'll put a little stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Saul. Okay, nice to see you. Likewise. You should try doing those, JT. I think you need to do a few. Come on, Saul. Taking off, brother? Yeah, I'm All right, be good, man. Yeah, right. Have a good week, bro. I'll catch you later this week. Saul. Yeah? Do you have any theory on that missing Malaysian airplane? What do you think happened to that plane? I, I'll tell you, that is the most weirdest thing that ever happened. I, I just... I'll tell you what. That's unbelievable. I'm not a conspiracy you know, theory person at all. When, when explosions happen, they find out, it's amazing how they find out what caused the explosion of the big building that collapsed. They put, and they investigate and they find out what, what caused the problem. Here's a big thing. It's tremendous. And it was like, was it 14 days or something? Well, what, since how long the plane's been missing? That was missing. It's been, oh, it's been five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah, five weeks. And I, I'm not a conspiracy theory person at all. I, I never believe in any of that bullshit. But the longer this goes on, and the longer they don't find that plane, the more open-minded I am to different scenarios. It, it's, it's just unbelievable. I mean, it, it, that, it who's to say it's not in Pakistan? They're never going to find it in the fucking ocean. That's my opinion. They're never going to find it in the ocean. No way. But I, I don't know. The longer it goes on, the more I have to believe but the sad thing is something happened that we don't know the about. The sad thing is the people. Yeah. That's that's the sad thing. And then then the incident that happened a couple of days ago. Which one was that? With the fed, federal the federal the guy the guy who brought the knife to school and stabbed no, like no 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 the Federal Express bus. Oh Federal yeah. Express. Yeah, I read about Federal that Express too. Truck ran into a, a bus of students. Bus students. Yeah, I heard about that. A number of fatalities. I tell you, what's going on in this um, world is, is unbelievable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You still take pictures? Oh, this guy when he's here. This is so sickening. I'm gonna get Mystery Man and Saul in the same shot. Huh? No, just don't mind me, Saul. Keep doing your thing. Huh? Chest. Finishing up chest. If I have time, I'll do some triceps. You and I. Wow. No, no, me. Hi, partner. How you doing, huh? Okay, take er it everything easy, good? Take it easy. Gonna get pumped up? Got you. <laughs> uh, he cracks me up. <laughs> you know, I don't even know what his name is. What? Do you know his name? No, I don't even. Dude, know. No one knows his name. I don't even know if he's real. I think he's. I think he's like a supernatural figment of my imagination. Sometimes he moves around. Yeah. Constantly on the go. Yeah, he's on the go. He's like me. <laughs> Keep on going, don't stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you know. I ain't got nothing but good on me, you know what I'm saying? That's twice now that's happened this morning. Brad and I were talking about you, and you walk in the door. And then Saul and I are talking about you, and then you walk in the door. <laughs> Who's that? No, what's going on today? I should talk about winning the lottery. Maybe I'll win it. Hey, yeah, man. Right? You never know. Man. I gotta say this one. Caesar's like, I can tell Will's here. I can smell the coffee. Yeah, man. What's up, man? The coffee's the best, you know? Everybody got a little hobbit. That's me right there all day. Starbucks loves me. Hey, Chris. 
Sprinkle a little uh, hash in there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, because I'm about to pick up the energy in a little bit. What you do is you go to Amsterdam. I was in Amsterdam once. Yeah. And they sell, they have places where they sell uh, hash hash cake, hash brownies, hash whatever, yeah. I don't remember half of that trip, but it was fun. <laughs> this is a while ago. Yeah, Will, Will knows what I'm talking about. Look at him. Will walks away. <laughs> I love it. He knows what's up. Oh, it's great. Hit it, Saul. Ross was high. No, Ross didn't get back yet, leaving 4.15. <laughs> Who's that, this guy? Yeah, because everybody asked me, as soon as they said, everybody. His name is I, Ross? Yeah. No, I d no, I, no, it's a joke. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to know his name. His name is Joe Schmo. <laughs> that just takes all the mystery out of it. Oh. I wanted him to just be mystery man. I'm going to have to like... Mystery man? You ever see Men in Black when they shine that white light in your face and you forget everything for a minute? Yeah. That's what I need. Because I don't want to know his name. Good for you. Oh. Good for you. So put blank. <laughs> put blank. Blank? You're the blank man? <laughs> hey, he looks like a <laughs> look like who? No. <laughs> Good to see he you. Like but... a... All right. Yeah, no. People say he looks like Steve Martin. I he does. That's, true. That's what people say on, on YouTube. Oh, he's taller. If, if, but you know yeah. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. But if you see Steve Martin, Steve Martin doesn't look like him, but he looks like Steve Martin. I get it. Do you get it? I dig it. Because I keep sort looking of. at Steve Martin, I try to see you, and I don't see you. You don't? Yeah, but I, I, look, like, at, I look at you and I see... Oh. 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 Uh oh, he's getting in his stance. You better back off. But when I see him, yeah. I see Steve Martin. Let's go. I gotta go. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh, well, you gotta go. Let's go. You celebrate Passover too? No. No. You're a bad, I celebrate. You're, I celebrate when it's fucking over. That's when I celebrate. You're a bad Jew. You don't celebrate anything. Uh, uh, no, I'm like three notches lower than a bad Jew. <laughs> I celebrate when it's over because then I can go back to having a life. Do you have to walk to temple and all that, or no? Is that some? That's another. That's Yom Kippur. Oh. Well, at least you know you're. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's about the extent of it. That's the way you get the day off. Hey, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's my holiday. I gotta. Take I should the day start off. declaring my religious holidays. You're not that religious either. Not the Orthodox. Right. Orthodox. Orthodox, they got the payas oh, and, yeah. the, and the half a hat on their head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wear one of those half hats? They cover up the bald spot, right? Is that why they made those? Or they couldn't afford the whole hat, they just chopped out the fucking the middle piece. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir, Saul. For those who are new to watching the Misfit videos, Saul is 82 years old. He is here at the, the gym at 6.30 in the morning training. If that doesn't inspire any of you lazy bums to get off your butts and train, then I don't know what will. What's this, 45 pounds? 45. Steve? Uh, yeah, he's telling you to keep your shoulder blades back. Yeah. Do an exercise, man. Do it the right way. Saul, no one's going to complain about how you're doing it. Trust me. <laughs> you're going slow, you're not bouncing, you're not using momentum. You look like you're doing a good job to me. I'm not, I'm not exactly an expert. Far from it. Saul, I'm going to wish you a very wonderful day and rest of the week. It was great Thank seeing you. you in here. 
It's That's been good. a while since I've seen you. Have a good day. You too. Enjoy. Hopefully I'll catch you one of these mornings in the near future. It's always great Enjoy seeing you. Dinner. I am going to. <laughs> Trust me. There'll be, there'll be food there, right? If I survive the day and the night, is, <laughs> this is one of the busiest days of the year in my line of work down here in Boca Raton. So I see you put in crazy hours. After today, that's it. I'm a free man. Oh, yeah. Till like the end of October, life is good. I just got to get through today. Well, same thing with my son. He's, you know, what line of work is he in? He's a CPA. <coughs> Hospitality? No, oh, accountant. Okay. Is he work down here or up in New Jersey? No, up in New Jersey. So, so in the middle of this month, it cuts off. But he's been pretty crazy. Hours. I can't wait. It's been a long... You know, Saturdays and Sundays he's working. It, you know, he doesn't see the kids, he doesn't see his wife. Uh, that's not good. I, I don't believe in I don't believe in ever putting um, career career over quality of life. I don't I don't believe in it. I, I I always put my quality of life before anything else. Let's see, if you want play, you know, good things, you want well things in life. See, I don't need good things. It'd be nice to have them, but yeah. I have everything I need. Got my big TV, got a home, yeah. and I got three square meals a day. And I got a camera, and I got good friends at the gym. <laughs> Saul, I'll okay. see you later this week, my man. Be good. Thank you. Brad, you be good, my brother. Here. One more set, and I'm hitting a row ad. Happy Passover. Thank you, Brad. Choke on any matzah. Mighty white of you to any say. Matza, matza. <laughs> Peace out, bye. Achul, achul, achul. Oy vey. Shalom, bitches. <laughs>